today is a sad day. It is a sad day for the state of Ohio, a sad day for Greater Cleveland, and a sad day for the city of Cleveland and all of its citizens. I tell you what, in, uh, in Cleveland, they needed this game. Four years ago, the Browns left, became the Ravens. And now, four years later, no sign of the owner, Art Modell, but in Cleveland, the witness for this game for four years. If there was one game the Browns wanted to do was to burn the Ravens. This is almost, like, what, early Thanksgiving? It's Capon. Beer for 50, ticket 50, no more Modell, that's priceless. But I'll tell you what, there was very few priceless moments for the Cleveland Browns. One was after a field goal, they recover an onside kick by Raymond Jackson, makes the play as Phil Dawson kicked it. But Tim Couch, you know what, Baltimore has a very good defense. And Unfortunately for Tim Couch and company, they were reminded of it as Dwayne Starks makes the pick in the end zone. Yeah. To the outside, Draylon Edwards loses the football. The Ravens have it. Oh, Nagata just threw a punch and a flag down. Shotgun, Anderson, under 10 seconds left. Anderson under duress, throwing and complete. How did he get it to Edwards? The backup, Trace McSorley, was over here warming up. And if no Trace McSorley and Lamar Jackson in the locker room, I don't know who the third quarterback's going to be. Jackson trying to throw for it, and he's got it. Marquise Brown hangs on to the football and scores. Keep taking it. It's Hunt again. Makes a move. First down. Touchdown. For the win. And Justin Tucker has done it for Baltimore. Percent on second down. Pass deflected, picked off, and taken in for a touchdown by Kyle Hamilton. Their last two possessions. Uh -oh. Deflected, picked off, and taken back by Newsom. 65,000 strong along the banks of the Ohio River. Paul Brown Stadium, Cincinnati, sold out for the 2-5 and five Bengals. Team that swept the Steelers last year. Kevin Huber had a look out into kick block. Right up the middle, it was William Gay coming up with the block. Good protection for Palmer over the middle, and he's got his man at the 20-yard line. Terrell Owen pulls it in, the ball pops loose. Roethlisberger. Trying to shake a tackler in the backfield and he can't. I want to say this before anything else. This playoff game is the weirdest football game I've ever seen. And I've been watching football for many decades. Tonight's playoff game, the Cincinnati Bengals and the dreaded, hated Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's give them the in time. Goes underneath and he is smashed. Jeremy Hills about to take on four Steelers. Roethlisberger from the pocket, middle of the field, incomplete. It's a peel back block. And the Bengals, Roethlisberger, Juju Smith-Schuster is blown up. Intercepted and then got clubbed by Watt. Handled by Taylor. Oh, his hat got popped off in the process. Running play, slicing through. Joe Mixon. Some words being exchanged. The end of the first they break it up. Nixon just told someone they were too small. Perfect night here in Pittsburgh. The teams that have won the AFC North five of the last six years. Strong and rugged. It describes Pittsburgh and its quarterback. And the franchise's trademark defense. Those words describe the visitors tonight. For a decade, the faces of dominating defense in the NFL. Tonight, these two teams renew one of the league's fiercest rivalries. The tight end back there, fullback to lead for Rashard Mendenhall. You've got to line up and show him what you got. The problem is 
for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger, quick throw and a big hit on Heath Miller, delivered by Jarrett Johnson. This is third and eight. Then all over the map, gets it to Moore, made a man miss. Moroldi Moore taking it into field goal range. They're going to try to pass for it. Roethlisberger cannot get it away. Well, he does get it away, and it's caught in the air by Brandon McKinney. Suggs had the pressure, and the Ravens defense gets the takeaway. Here's the oh. sneak. Flacco, second chance, second effort. And it looks like they're going to mark him short of it. Holt. Picked off Polamalu. Polamalu going right. The field is open. Aaron Smith shields. Flacco and Polamalu takes it home. Super Bowl 43. Pittsburgh might be bound for that thanks to number 43. What a hit. Ball's out. And there's the other battle going on. Polamalu. Challenged by John Harbaugh. After reviewing the play. The receiver did not maintain possession going to the ground. Personal foul on Nestor Ruffles. Hit on the defensive receiver number 25. Now from the 14. Uh -oh. He's picked off in the flat, and that is Suggs. In the other way, but glancing back over his shoulder. But you can see he kind of did force Jacoby Jones back into the field. A little mission accomplished almost. And he's snickering. <laughs> I mean, you know, my man, he's a player now. Roethlisberger looks, crosser, Brown, he caught it, fights to the goal line, breaks the plane! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! That might win them the division! He's going along for Deontay Johnson. Oh, he oh, got him hammered on the sideline. Jackson, that's what you want to do. Jackson takes off, and he is stopped! Pick it, flush. Pressure, throws on the run, caught by Harris for a touchdown! Oh, what a play! There is no rivalry like Brady versus Manning, the two legendary quarterbacks who overwhelmed NFL defenses with their extraordinary passing proficiency and relentless competitive spirit went head-to-head -head 17 times. through a tackle 20 15 diving to about the 11 yard line he looks at a third and three running out of time throws towards the end zone intercepted harper had it and dropped it and brady and chad bratsky going helmet to helmet play fake buys him time now on a roll and throws and it is intercepted ty law picks it off that's complete inside the 20 yard line and a big hit. That's going to be whistled down. Here the fake to Dylan again and Brady guns it to the end zone for a touchdown. It's Deion Brand. It's Maroney fumbling. Ball still loose. And the Colts in the scrum. No, the ball's in the end zone. And the Patriots have recovered for a touchdown. Two from the three. Another running play. Up touchdown it's underneath instead a die sideline and he squeezes past everyone a die will cut back middle a die it's going to take it all the way for the touchdown to see a Bethea in the second quarter but this time this is the 12th long ball of the year down the field and this one is Quell Jackson, a linebacker for the Colts, intercepted a pass by Tom Brady and allegedly felt the ball was lighter than normal. But it turned out it wasn't just one ball in question. They probably don't know how they became underinflated, but the fact that they were 11 out of the 12 balls discovered to be underinflated was certainly a big disappointment. We ain't done nothing yet. This division can't be ours, but one team stands in our way. 
hate the Titans. Field. Fred Taylor up the middle. Room the move. 35, 30, breaking tackles. Inside the 20. Inside the 15-yard line, and it's a first down for Tennessee in the postseason. Coming this way. And in the third quarter. Derek Mason and Isaac Bird are deep. This is Mason from the 20. 35, 40. Midfield, and there he goes. Started at the Tennessee 20. Young again running. Talk to players on the other teams. They'll tell you that they miss Albert Hainsworth. Maurice Jones drew, bringing it back. And Maurice Jones drew down the sideline. Can they catch him? Maurice Jones drew touchdown. Out of the 21. And Maurice Jones drew breaking tackles again. Look at this kid. Unbelievable. He needs one block. Go right in front. Go right blocking. Maurice Jones drew touchdown Jacksonville. What a play. First down and 10. Johnson gets a shot. It's Watch out. He's got getting away from the cop speed. Touchdown. Backfield behind Locker. Play fake, looking deep, long ball downfield, receivers out there, coming down with it at the 15-yard line. Starts at the one and looking for a little breathing room, and they get that and plenty more. Derrick Henry still going. Stays in bounds. He might go. 99 yards for the touchdown. Will swing a pass out to him. He's in space, but trying to get extra yards. He got his last. Dobbs is hit from behind. The ball's out. They're calling this a fumble at the moment, and the return by Allen for the touchdown. Lawrence instead looking left. He evades the initial sacker. Lawrence gonna run for it. Lawrence end zone touchdown. The Tennessee Titans will wear Houston Oilers throwbacks for a home game next season, and on Monday, a writer for the Titans website suspects it will be against Houston. Now, after I mentioned that on Twitter, the reaction? As expected, here's some responses. Give us our team name back. Another, I'm going to do a citizen's arrest on the Titans if they attempt this. This may be my favorite, though. Texans should respond at their next home game versus Tennessee by playing real country music. Tennessee hasn't worn an Oilers uniform since 2009, according to gridironuniforms.com. That season, the team went 1-2 while wearing them, including this 59-0 loss in the snow at New England. Houston loved that game. Well, if it's early 60s, it's a Texans-Titans. It's an AFL game between Dallas and New York. But this is the once Houston team, now Tennessee Titans of Eddie George against the expansion Houston Texans. Houston for the first time. David Carr incomplete to Javar Gaffney. Now watch this. Flag. Javon curses. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like one of your flags, Jeff. <laughs> it came out of the stands. So it's not a flag. Oh, they're tricky in Houston. And Chris Brown, remember why he was an ex -teamer? He had all the trouble with the Steelers, obviously having a few problems here. Tank Williams with the block for Jeff Fisher. Boy, is Tennessee a hot club. Javon Kurtz looking at flags, having his left foot examined. Meanwhile, Keith Bullock stepping up, dragging down. Is for just 23 yards. Hmm. Andre Johnson and Cortland Finnegan getting into it. Hand off for Ward on third and eight. And Ward leaning forward. Flags come down. Oh, there's punching now. Yeah, Finnegan and Andre Johnson going after it. Both of the helmets were ripped off. And we may have even more action. Oh, it's continuing. It spills over. Then Andre Johnson and Cortland Finnegan going at each other. This is something else. Watch this, folks. Now, you talk about a fight. This is serious stuff. This is Jimmy on your left, and that's Howie on the right. And that's how we warm up for the pregame show. But our guys get to stay. These guys got kicked out of the game.
Held out all of training camp. Played last week and is ready today. Johnson on the dump off, and he gets dropped. Third down and two. Shaw looking in the end zone. Johnson! Oh, oh my! Touchdown! Wow. Doesn't spike it. Willis lost the football. Gets it back. Chased by Grenard. Eight seconds left. Flag is down. Second and seven from the Texans, 43. Levis fakes the handoff, pulls it back, and delivers it straight to Hopkins. Levis buys himself some time. Oh, dangerous pass. Stroud, he's well protected, and right out of the money to Nico Collins. And Levis is hammered, the ball's out. Titans. Nah, all right, game on. Eddie George hurt the dislocated left shoulder. I remember saying he pissed off, so this is not going to end well. Pop this back in, and let's go. Eddie George is back in the game at tailback. I was willing to die on that football field that day. Back up. Third down, about two and a half for McNair. He airs it out. So they start inside the 15 to the Titans, and Eddie George, the welcoming committee, greeting him immediately again. Looking for Wycheck, there he is, and he's hit immediately. 11. Underneath, complete to George. Good open field tackle by Ray Lewis. And words exchanged. I'm sure Lewis complimenting George on his style. Good protection. Intercepted by Ray Lewis, and Lewis is on his way. He's going to go for a touchdown. Eddie George fights for the yardage. He is taken down right at the sticks. You know who missed him? Ray Lewis in the backfield. And he's mad at himself. George. Nice hole off the left side. And Eddie George picks up a couple of more with a stiff arm. First <laughs> down. Tosses. End zone. Oh! Janu Smith. Touchdown! Henry handles the contact, and there goes Derrick Henry! Henry has got major speed for a big man! We just had a little skirmish, if you will, at midfield. Let's go to Tracy with a report. Well, Jim, we were talking all morning about the enormity of this game, and as you saw what happened, a skirmish at midfield because the Titans came out, they took the field, they went into the center, and Malcolm Butler yelling at the sideline to the Baltimore sideline, John Harbaugh coming out in disgust, Mike Vrabel coming out, the officials just giving warnings to both teams, but if this is any indication, expect some chippiness throughout this game, Jim. <laughs> Tannehill steps and fires, and it's intercepted. And at the end of that, it was the Ravens stomping all over the Titans logo. On the Buffalo Bills warming up right there. Oh, my word. Come on. Did he just really shove Jacoby Brissett for, I guess he's on that other side of 50? Is that what, are you allowed to do that? Kurt, what do you think? Man, I guess he's Brissett running on, on their come side on, of the man. field. This is moments ago. Come on. In New England. Wow. They had the game at the old rock pile, and they just played horrible. <laughs> it was just a really bad day for the Bills. The Patriots came in and smacked them around. It was 26 to 8, um, snowy, 24 degrees, lousy day, and uh, the Bills played down to the weather, that's for hey. sure. You would have thought that Cookie Gokris would have been the key to the game. The Patriots held it to seven yards on eight carries. The irregular blockers out there. He chooses to come out. Merriweather pops them. The ball comes free. The Patriots are in business with two minutes to go. Brady pumping, throwing in zone. Touchdown! Remember we saw Donald Jones earlier? Well, he didn't see Vince Wilford. Oh! Man, I would have went back in the hood and swung on my I'm quarterback. I'm sure he, he didn't like that and say, you're going to learn today. Oh, that, that's what gets a really close look at this one, which they obviously will. Yeah, he tugs him there, and then he's still holding him and still pushes him, but no penalty flag for pass interference. And Gronk, yeah, after, after a Patriot had already touched him down, the first Patriot comes in, touches him down, and Gronk, that's savage right there. Uh, there's no other way of putting it. The AFC East on the line. 
weather. Major impact tonight. Severe wind. And the Jets were underway as New England decided to defer after winning the toss. And here's Hines on the run back, breaking a tackle and taking it past midfield. And down the sideline he goes. This is storybook. An opening kickoff return for Tamar Hamlin in this place. Miami, the beautiful skyline on this 52 degree December night. And now the Pro Player Stadium, where about 70,000, including many New Englanders here for the holidays, are on hand to watch this game tonight as the Miami Dolphins wearing orange for only the second time ever come out onto the field getting ready to face Tom Brady. Timson in motion behind Bledsoe. Plenty of time for Drew. He looks for Crittenden in the corner of the end zone. Oh, what a catch! He's got it. Angles one toward the sideline. A well placed kick, 27 yard line. And getting free is Welker. And there are no flags. And Welker is still alive. And Welker is inside the 10. Cut it to New England. Brady, he's going to get sacked and he's going to just throw it. Intercepted. Brendan Ian Badejo is intercepting the pass as Brady is going down. If he chooses Deion Branch at the top. Dolphin pressure. Brady pass to Welker. Touchdown. Tannehill will throw it. And this will end it after the shovel. Or will it? Miami running around. Circling. Oh, look out. Gronkowski didn't have the angle. Touchdown! Oh, Kenyon Drake! Here comes Chubb. Jones throws. It's caught. The safety. Flips it back. It's brought in by Strange, the offensive lineman. Pushing to the 29. Does he get it? What's the spot? First down. <laughs> Thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for having everybody come out here a couple days in a row. Uh, um, due to the various uncertainties surrounding my position as it relates to the team's new ownership, um, I've decided to resign as the head coach of the New York Jets. So third down and ten now. Big play for the Patriots. Bledsoe. Going to run it. Needs ten yards. As he hit. Oh my. And and the ball, they're gonna actually, it looks like they're gonna rule that a fumble. And and oh look at Drew. Yeah, is he uh, this is the more critical than the first. Drew Bledsoe is on the sideline. Tom Brady, the second year quarterback from the University of Michigan, who uh, threw only three passes in his rookie year last year, one for three, a six-yard completion, and this is his first duty. Of 2001, so apparently Bledsoe knocked around a little more than it appeared, and uh, Brady in charge against five defensive backs. Well, I think anybody could tell by looking at Bledsoe on the ground that he was hurt. Underneath, complete, but just short. Up the gut again. The Jets' hand team does fall on it this time, and that's the way they oh, cartwheel man, don't their flip. way. We don't flip, Braylon into the AFC Championship game for the second consecutive year, this time against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarterback. He's going to fumble the football. This is what Reggie White used to do to people, forklift them. Two weeks away from the start of the NFL playoffs, we know New England will be a part of it. The Jets are the question mark. Four straight wins to get themselves into the conversation. It's their first winning season in five years. The Patriots have cruised to their seventh consecutive AFC East title. Their next goal, securing for the Jets. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick sets, throws, end zone, jump ball. Marshall's there, touchdown. This is the call, heads is the call. It is heads. You want to kick. You want to kick. You want to kick off. You're going to receive. That way. Which way do you want to receive? Nope. Where do you want to receive that? That way. Okay. Just like this. New England wins a toss. They elected to kick. We won. Don't we get the two? Wait a second that, here. That, wait a second. There. Matthew Slater come in. 
New York. Good, 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 good. Wow. Good luck, gentlemen. Patriots elect to kick. That's a mistake. A touchdown is a game winner in overtime. Fitzpatrick. End zone. Eric Decker holds it in. Two aggressive. Johnson the back. Third down and four. The time inside. Wilson. Intercepted. Third of the day. Kills it with a first down run. Nathaniel Hackett saw what was going on there and out of the playoff picture. Greasy off play action and throws underneath the Portis. 40. Look at that. Whoa. 40. 30. 20. What a run. Oh my. Clinton Portis. Out of the gun. Three wides. What he was thinking about. Third down and three. Big hole here for Melvin Gordon. He's in the Chiefs territory. Chased by a trio. Field goal. It'll be taken out by Byron Pringle. And he finds a seam. He breaks a tackle. The kicker to beat. Look at Pringle. Galloping free. He will go all the way. On the drag. Here comes Von Miller. Oh, how did he pull? 29th of his career. Now watch uh, up the field. Here's Valdez Scantley tugging with McMillan, it looks. This cell phone video captured in 2012 when police tried restraining a rowdy fan. Soon after, the entire section was cleared. And in 2010, police responded to a fight in the crowd. Then last year, this brawl happened between several men in the parking lot. These are scenes all too common for police and fans. It's a little more intense, of course. We've got a little grudge going against them. The Chargers have implemented a fan code of conduct and made special rules for the Raiders game specifically. Second and ten. Wilson eluding the rush, throwing underneath an incomplete. James Jett was there. I've never been in the game offensively where you couldn't get a first down in the half. This is incredible. Third and ten. Wilson, the 39-year-old, throwing deep. Separation. James Jett is gone. Touchdown, Oakland. Tending he was Jerry Rice playing in the backyard. They're going to go for it fourth and one. And it's another play action, and Gannon throws long, and it's open to Brown for a touchdown. Nine. And it's a reverse to Eric Parker. And Parker. And a long six. The throwback to Breeze, and he's at the 10. He dives for the pylon. Did he make it? Yes. yes. Now, now it's a challenge. And they flush Gannon out of the pocket, searching for help. Throws downfield, and ball was deflected, so they'll... 34 yards of offense in one first down. Here's Jacobs now. To kick a field goal to win the game. Maybe. Maybe. Anything Maybe. can happen in that situation. Of course. So you're taking a chance on not going to the playoffs. If you make, if you try a kick, could get blocked, anything could happen, right? Right. Whereas if you take a knee, the game's over, and you're in the playoffs. Who could have ever dreamed of the scenario? Third and four, now what? Chargers take a timeout. Good protection. Going for the end zone. Two. Blitz coming. Passes. Re looking. Look out from behind. And the ball is out. It's going to... The games with the Raiders were not games. <laughs> no games are fun, you know. These were wars. And from the beginning, no member of the opposing organization could escape the Fury. They had that horse. I remember Madden hated that horse. And every time the Chiefs would score, the horse would run up and down the field and and the Chiefs would be waving the spear and all that. And we got so that I remember coming on the field and, and Fred Belenikoff and I throwing ice cubes at him. And, and I think Fred even kicked them one time. Well, after Blackledge, 
We've got Keats and Raiders going full tilt. Just like they like it over the years. The outside against this high-powered offense. Second and five. And an incomplete on five. Intercepted. It is good. Team. Here we go. Untimed yeah. down to decide it all. The one on one matchup is up top inside. Carr looking left. The the and it was caught. He was out of bounds. And the run goes. And it was caught. And it was caught. Stepping away deep down the sideline. And Attention again. Mahomes to the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown. Kelsey. Patrick Mahomes, who extends plays like no other.